Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on these two Intermax CPU coolers. These are the ETS T40s. The first one up is the Black Twister and we also have the White Cluster. Here's the front of the box, Intermex's ETS T40. This is the Black Twister. Of course, we also have the White Cluster to show you in just a moment. TDP of uh, at most 200 watts. We're also looking at socket compatibility of AMD and Intel. For the AMD line, we're looking at AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, FM1, and FM2. Uh, from Intel sockets, we're looking at 775, 1150, 1155, 1156, 1366, and 2011 compatibility. I'm just gonna turn this to the side here and show you a little bit more information uh, on the specification side. Now, uh, dimensions of this particular cooler, you're looking at 130 millimeters by 93 by 160 millimeters. The heat sink dimension itself is 139 by 70 by 160. The weight of that heat sink uh, weighs in at 610 grams. You are going to have four heat pipes on this particular model with uh, a diameter of six millimeters on each heat pipe. The, uh, the material used on those, we're looking at copper heat pipes and aluminum fins. Uh, thermal resistance of 0.085 degrees Celsius per watt. Now, the thermal grease they do include in this box is Dow Corn Corning TC5121. And the fan is a 120 millimeter fan that's at a 25 millimeter thickness. Now you could install a second fan on it and have a push-pull uh, design for this particular fan. It will, it will be able to do that. Fan speed on that fan is 800 to 1800 RPMs. You're also looking at an airflow of 33.26 to 75.98 cubic feet per minute. Uh, the static pressure on that fan is going to give you 0.97 to 2.28 millimeters of water. Uh, then fan voltage is going to be 12 volts and a fan uh, mean time between failures of 100,000 hours. The noise on that fan coming in at 16 to 26 decibels and the bearing that they're using in this particular model is their own patented twister bearing. The fan connector is a 4-pin PMW and it does have blue LEDs on it. So here's everything that comes inside the box. Start first with the paperwork. This is a user manual that you get with it. Shows you how to install all the different stuff that you'll need to install, the hardware for your Intel, your AMD based systems. And you also get two fan brackets that'll be used to attach a second fan to the other side of the cooler, giving you a push-pull type uh, setup. You also get a, a wrench, uh, some other hardware inside the box, some screw pillars, thermal grease, plastic washers, vibration absorbing pad, uh, and other hardware in this bag needed to install it. Uh, you also get a mounting bracket, the backplate itself here, uh, in combination with the AMD's mounting bracket, as well as Intel's uh, mounting bracket and the pressure plate or the pressure mounting plate that would go across the top of the cooler here and just keep pressure with the actual CPU. If I can get those inside the little holes there. I bet you get the picture. Then you, as things are threaded through the bottom you would then screw it on with the wrench and adjust it so it's perfectly tight. Uh, now that aside, let me actually get onto the main event and show you the cooler itself. Uh, on the front here, we have a, a TB, a polish uh, fan from Intermax. Uh, there's also some LEDs inside, total of 12 of them. You can probably just barely see them here. Uh, th something that makes them special, they are patented uh, circular type LEDs that Intermax patented. Uh, 12, 12 in total, they're about three times as bright as a standard LED. Also the blades themselves, you might just barely be able to tell there's a, a little bit of a reflection here on the end. That's because it's clear to this point and then they added a, a reflective, almost like a sticker at the blade edge. That's supposed to increase LED brightness by reflecting the light back at you when you're looking at it while it's spinning. Uh, also, the, the twister bearing technology that's inside these particular fans also uh, they are patented by Intermex, uh, but the special things about these fans is that one, you can actually pop off the blades themselves. I'll show you that here in a moment when I take a look at the white one. Uh, but essentially, you can pop off the blade in order to help them uh, help you clean the fans because everybody knows you get some dusty fans after a while, and if you want to do proper clean, it's just so much easier to be able to pop them off. Also, uh, inside they have a nanomagnetic design that basically. Uh, allows it to have self-lubrication as well as minimal friction, uh, low noise, and long life. So moving to the actual heat sink itself, you can see the fin array here. Uh, very dense, also black, and painted as you can tell. 
Uh, the paint here, it's thermal conductive coating from Intermax. It's TCC is what they've named it. Essentially what it does is it allows the heat transfer uh, through nanomolecular pro properties that allow it to pass heat uh, from one side to the other and actually increases the thermal conductivity of, of the aluminum fins themselves. Uh, also, you'll notice the tops of the, the four heat pipes here uh, going down through the bottom of the HDT and then back up again. Thin array making contact with those heat pipes and then dissipating the heat through the air itself. Uh, now, at the top here, you'll notice several little divots. Uh, those actually have special purposes. Uh, first, you'll notice these ones closest to the heat pipes themselves. These are the vortex generator flow, the, the VGF as they're called. Essentially what they do is almost have a, a spoiler-like effect as wind is blown across each fin, the, uh, the spoilers almost cause little vortexes of air to come through behind on the opposite side where wind is not directly being blown on the heat pipe and thus getting more of the surface area of the heat pipe in contact with cool air and drying the heat out of the heat pipes and thus out of your CPU. So also they have these smaller almost like uh, vent looking holes here. That's actually the SEF or stack effect. And essentially what these are doing is causing as the cool air to blow over the top of it, uh, the cool air is going to be at the bottom of each one of these, these fins and the hot air would rise to the surface of each one of these fins. You have to imagine this in three dimensions here. Uh, the wind will blow over the top of this and cause a vacuum effect to draw the hot air out of it, causing the hot air to rise through the fins and eventually uh, rise away from the entire cooling array, helping it to just dissipate heat even better. And on both of these, uh, the VGF and the stack effect, are both you know, combined in every single one of these fins to create a greater effect uh, of cooling. Also, if I turn this sideways, you notice here the, the fan has quite a bit of fins that are not covered on the side and also from the front aren't getting blown directly on. Why is that? Because they actually have the vacuum effect, what they've designed called VEF. What essentially happens is as wind is being blown in, there's a low pressure being built up between these fins and it's sucking more air inside of it. It would happen on the other side as well as it blows out here. It would create a low, low pressure system here. I feel like I'm talking about weather. And then sucking more in air into it and blowing out the other side. So bottom line is it's actually more efficient to these little things that Intermax is doing. I'll flip to the bottom now so you can get a closer look at the heat pipes themselves and the HTP where it's actually, it's the heat pipe direct touch design where essentially these heat pipes are, are all completely smoothed down with the block as well, completely almost down to a, 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 a granularly flattened finish. But basically it's making direct contact with the CPU here and using thermal grease to facilitate the heat transfer, drawing the heat out of it into these heat pipes and then from the fin array out to the air. So just drawing heat directly out of it as it should. So here we have the white cluster version, which is obviously white. Also, they named it the cluster because that's the name of the fan that's on the front of it. Now, the white cluster itself also implements a four-pin PWM power plug. Also, they have bat wing, uh, wing, bat wing blades, excuse me. Gives you about 30% more airflow at lower noise than a typical fan. Uh, it also has this metal ring around the outside. They call that the halo frame. Gives you about 20% more airflow than a standard uh, fan would give you as well. Also, something special about this particular fan, it has an on-off switch for the LED lights. So if you were trying to keep this in your bedroom and at night you're just having a hard time sleeping but you're doing some Bitcoining or whatnot, running that system all night, you don't want to have all that extra light, don't worry about it. You click this button as opposed to a more permanent fix which is snipping the cables which I've, I've actually done in the past to keep my my LEDs uh, very black and not usable. <laughs> Anyways, so this particular fan I'll show you here in just a little bit. Uh, you'll be able to push off the fins and get it to uh, get it out so that you have the full um, fins out of the actual uh, casing of the fan and allow you to clean it, which is much easier than having to get in here with uh, with you know some some kind of cleaner or or just a rag in general just to dust it. A lot of trouble. So much easier with Intermex fans for being able to do that. I'm gonna have to pop out the fan actually anyways just to show you some switches on the back here, which I'll do right now actually. 
And uh, if you can see, it's really tiny in here, but there's a little, a little switch. And essentially, you have three different fan settings. This is the APS, as Intermax calls it, the Adjustable Peak Speed Control. Uh, essentially, you have the three different versions, the three different speeds. You'll be able to go a minimum of 800 RPMs, but a total maximum of 1500. Uh, that is the silent mode. And then you also have 800 to 1800, that's the performance mode. Then you have 800 all the way up to 2200 RPMs for the overclock mode. It just basically runs this thing as fast as it can go. Uh, also, I should mention that both fans actually have these, these rubber um, uh, stoppers almost on here just to keep the vibration at a minimum while it's connected to the fan or connected to the heat sink itself, which is also very nice. But since you haven't actually had a chance to look at the white cluster, I'm going to pull that back up again just to show you what it actually looks like. Of course, it's the exact same design. The only difference is the TCC on this is white instead of black. So that, uh, that thermal coating is uh, also still going to be able to enable heat transfer so, and also keep it from oxidizing the aluminum, two very important things. And that is essentially your coolers. Okay, everyone, that wraps up this overview of these two Intermax CPU coolers. This has been the ETS T40 Black Twister and White Cluster Editions. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.